Once you have everything cut and colored out, you want to fold in the flaps and then fold it along the fold lines. Now you're ready to begin taping. We'll put a small piece of tape along each seam of your pyramid. I found that it would hold together with only two pieces of tape, but they looked a little bit nicer if I taped all three seams. And here we have a finished pyramid. Now you're gonna take two of these and line them up straight and tape it together along the bottom and then push it up onto the front. And then you just keep turning it around, taking another one, taping it on the bottom until you've got all three of them taped together. Now you're ready to put the fourth one on top. So you put some tape along the bottom corner and tape it down on one corner, and then you just keep turning it around and again, tape it in place on all three corners until your top's in place. Now you're gonna continue taping it together like we did before, we're just using larger building blocks. So you tape it together along the bottom. And then we're gonna add the top part of our pyramid on like we did before, just taping it in place one corner at a time at that bottom corner. And then you can just keep building as long as you want. You can see mine got pretty big this year. I think this tree took a total of 256 pyramids, but it was a lot of fun. 